Hey everyone, it's Gosh, and today we're gonna react to the new cast of RuPaul's All Stars 3. Are you ready? Let's go! First of all, we've got the only queen from season 9, Aja. I need to say that I'm disappointed with Aja, I preferred Valentina to be in, or oh, many other queens like Peppermint or Shea Coulee. Aja wasn't my favorite, and I don't consider Aja an all star. Next up, we've got Ben de la Creme from season 6. One of the queens that I think that they might win this all this season, this All Stars 3. Ben is fun, Ben is generally creative, and I can't wait to see how she evolved from season 6 until now. Chi Chi Devane from season 8. Is really Chi Chi an all star? Really? I don't know why she ended up so high in season 8. I don't know why she's considered an all-star. I still found her an amateur, Kennedy Davenport. Is Kennedy really needed to be there? I assume she's gonna be the first to go home. And I find Kennedy really mediocre as well. Milk. Milk is creative, Milk is weird as a drug, Milk, Milk always wants to be ugly or different from everyone else in many different ways. And even if sometimes she's a bit more androgynous than other, than other queens, I can't wait to see what she has for us. Morgan McMichael from season 2. Meh. But at least it's been a long time, maybe she's evolved. Let's see... Shangela. Again! It's like, it's the third season that Shangela is gonna be in. Uh, I but she's fun. I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed with this All-Stars cast. In general, I can't compare it with any other cast of the other two All-Stars. It's just mediocre in general. Thorgy Thor. Okay, Thorgy might be a good con contestant, but again, not sure if she's an all-star material. And last but not least, Trixie Mattel, Katya's best friend, even if I don't really like her, I mean, the way she does her makeup and stuff, I, I see why many people like her, I see why she has many fans, and she's Katya's best friend, so I love her as well because I love Katya! Some people say that it's gonna be Bibi, the winner of season 1. I don't find the reason why Bibi could compete in All Stars 3. She's, all, she's already in the Hall of Fame. Even if season 1 wasn't... A, not a proper season, but like, it, it wasn't the best. It was much poorer, much, much cheaper. She's still a winner. Other people um, say about Miss Fame still mediocre, and other people say that it's gonna be Darian Lake. I didn't really like her in season 6, and I was happy that she didn't get to the final. But RuPaul, is that really All-Stars? Anyway, let's see what the new season has for us. I don't find it an All-Stars, but rather a second chance round for these girls. I hope to be a good season after all, but I'm disappointed and you can see it. That's all from me today. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the new cast of All Stars, if you are disappointed, if you liked it or not, what's your favorite queens out of all these 9, who do you think is gonna be the 10th contestant. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel for more, new videos every Thursday, new videos every Sunday, but for now, bye bye! Woo!